Vacation USA. Marisol is Colombian and married to George Merrick, an American teaching in Colombia. They've just returned to Colombia, and George is telling his friends at work about their trip. We had a great time, but it was pretty tiring. We went on most of the tours because Marisol didn't want to miss anything. I really felt we needed more time. If we went again, we'd stay longer. We would have spent more time in San Francisco and less time in Los Angeles if we'd had a choice. Los Angeles was a little disappointing. We went on a tour of Beverly Hills to see the Houses of the Stars, but unless you had studied film history, you would never have heard of most of them. Generally speaking, the hotels, food, and service were excellent. Marisol found Americans to be very friendly. We probably took too much luggage. Clothes in California were so cheap. It would have been a good idea to take along an empty suitcase. If I'd done that, the savings on clothes would almost have paid for half of the airfare. Well, not really. The Rizzos, a retired couple from Bangor, Maine, were on the tour with the Merricks. Florence Rizzo was asked about the trip. We'd been looking forward to this trip for years, and it was the vacation of a lifetime. I think we enjoyed Las Vegas the most, but two nights were probably enough. If we'd stayed there much longer, we'd have lost all our money. Disneyland is a must for anyone with children. If only we'd had our grandchildren with us, they would have loved it. We went on some of the tours, and we could have gone on more, but you can't see everything, can you? I love the food in California. You know all those salads and fresh vegetables. We wouldn't have gone on this trip unless it had been an escorted tour group. We're not as young as we used to be, and we couldn't have done it on our own. Everyone, however, was so helpful to us. When you're visiting Northern California, be sure to come to Dr. Bronner's Hot Springs Spa in beautiful, relaxing Calistoga for a fabulous health break. For just sixty-nine dollars, you'll get a complete health treatment: mud bath, mineral bath, sauna, steam wrap, and massage. We guarantee that you'll come out feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, and just plain terrific. All for only sixty-nine dollars. You can stay at Dr. Bronner's overnight for just ninety-four dollars. All the rooms are spacious and quiet, with large private baths. They all have color TVs, mini refrigerators, and microwaves. Your comfort is our business. We're conveniently located on Lincoln Avenue, just one block from the Calistoga Bookstore. For reservations, call one seven zero seven five 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 two four six. I wish. Yes. Your call from New York's on line one. Paris has just come through on line two, and there's a call from Tokyo on line four. Ask them to call back tomorrow, Judy. Tell them, tell them I'm not here. It's too late. I wish I wasn't here. I've had enough today. But they're urgent, all of them. Do you know something, Judy? I wish I was at home now, in front of the television, with a cup of hot chocolate. Look at that! It's pouring again, and I have to walk to the bus stop. Well, at least it's not snow. It's all right for Waspson. His limousine is downstairs waiting to take him home. Yeah, I wish I had a chauffeur-driven limousine. I wish I had a car, any car. I'm going to get soaked tonight. Hi, Jane. Still here? Yes, I'm waiting to see Waspson. You don't usually work late. I wish I wasn't working this evening. There's a good game on TV. Oh well, maybe he'll call you in soon. <sighs> I hope he does. Haven't you left yet? No, I wish I had. I can't go until I've finished this report. Can't you do it tomorrow? I wish I could, but Waspson wants it tonight. How are you doing, Joe? Oh hi, Shirley. I don't feel like working tonight. Neither do I. I hate this kind of work. Why do you do it then? I wish I didn't have to, but we need the money. 
My husband's out of work again. I know what you mean. I wish I'd learned how to type or something like that. We can all wish. I dropped out of school at 16. I wish I hadn't. But I never got good grades and I hated it. Kids have it really easy in school nowadays. I wish we'd had more of a chance. I'd never have ended up cleaning offices. Come on, Shirley. Let's try to finish early and get out of here. Look at that, Sergeant. There are still lights on in the insurance company again. Yes, it looks nice and warm, doesn't it? I sometimes wish I worked there. You do? Really? Uh-huh. Sometimes. A nice office, a desk, lots of people around. It can't be bad. And the boss's limo outside. Still, you know what they say. The grass is always greener on the other side. Oh, I suppose you're right, Sarge. Hey, that limousine is in front of a fire hydrant. Oh, yeah. Give him a parking ticket, Lucy. He can... The happiest days of your life? Some people say that your days in school are the happiest days of your life. Here are five people talking about their experiences. Wade Hamlin is a successful self-employed builder. School? It's a waste of time, mostly. At least it was for me. I quit after my sophomore year in college because I stopped hoping that I would ever learn anything. I wanted to start earning a living in the real world. The biggest problem with school is the teachers. If I'd listened to my teachers, I would know all about Shakespeare and what day the Civil War started and how to conjugate Spanish verbs and how to prove the Pythagorean theorem and all that junk. But I wouldn't know anything about how to make a business deal or raise my kids or anything that's really important. I'm sorry I went to school at all. Anne-Marie Johnson is the personnel manager of a department store. I loved school. I was a straight-A student almost every year, but I didn't spend all my time studying. I participated in a lot of extracurricular activities and sports, too. I was in student government both in high school and in college. I was always sorry when summer vacation started. Three months with no school? Most kids like vacations more than school, but not me. Some of my friends in high school didn't go to college, but they regret it now. Some of them would have done well if they had been encouraged to go. I only regret not going to graduate school after I got my bachelor's degree. I've started an MBA at night, but it's not the same. Work is all right, but I miss the friends and the fun that went along with the studying. Craig Phillips is a Wall Street stockbroker. I went to prep school, and then I went to Harvard. I guess you could say I had the best education money could buy. But it wasn't easy. We had to study very hard, and a lot was expected of us. The thing I remember most is the friendship. The friends I made then are still my friends today. Most of us were together in prep school, and then at Harvard, too. Sports were very important for me. I believe that team sports teach people to work together, and competition with another team brings out the best in people. Anyway, discipline was stricter then. It's too bad that it's changed. Maybe young people would be better behaved nowadays if there was more discipline in the schools. My biggest regret is that I didn't have the family life other boys had. After age 12... I only saw my family at Christmas and in the summer. Colleen McGrath is a factory worker. School was just another part of neighborhood life. My brothers and sisters and I went to a parochial elementary school three blocks from home. Later, we had to take a bus to the public high school, but it was only a ten-minute ride. And then we all went to the local community college. I wish my kids could do that. I have to take the youngest in the car to the big elementary school across the river. A school bus picks up the other two who are in junior high school, and it takes them almost an hour each way. 
I wish things hadn't changed so much. I went to a big high school in the Midwest. We lived in a well-to-do suburb, so the school was pretty good academically. I wish my parents had let me take more science and math courses. No, I wish I had insisted on taking what I wanted to. For college, they sent me east to a fancy girls' school. For them, girls went to college only to meet the right boy. And, as a second thought, to have something to fall back on, in case your husband died and you had to go to work. I thought they were right, and I was wrong. So, I majored in literature. I never met the right boy. Instead of falling back on teaching literature, I'm in advertising. In fact, I'm the vice president of my agency. It's okay. But if I had taken the subjects I wanted, I would be an engineer or an astronaut. I wish my teachers had given me better advice. I'm really sorry my parents didn't let me do what 